Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And you're watching the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and sending me them sweet old thumbs up. If you've got a question for me, I try to answer them for free for my subscribers on the Facebook Messenger under Clay's AC and Auto Repair. And remember, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. Okay, so right behind me here, we have got a Chevy Equinox, Pontiac Torrent, Saturn View. Uh, we're going to show you why this tailgate falls down all the time. And I'm going to show you how to replace the struts on here. It is super, super simple if you understand what you're doing and what you're working with. Now, before I take that out, I'm going to use a support mechanism. This is actually a hood prop and prop it in there. You also want to make sure that you pay attention before you remove these, which end your canister is on and which end is your rod. Okay, so these are struts. Um, they're kind of like shock absorbers. You can see where I've already replaced the one on that side. We're going to start by removing these little clips and you don't really have to worry too much. They're not going to just fall off. And most of the time your new ones come with new clips. So you, just pry them up like that and I'll show you why you're taking them back right now. Sometimes they want to come off of here a little bit of hard, a little bit hard. So we're probably going to end up having to use two hands to get these puppies off. And I'm just using a flathead screwdriver. Just stick it back there in the notch. You can use a pick tool, whatever. But we're going to take a look at the new ones and I'm going to show you what's going on inside there. Okay, these ones that I'm installing here on this Chevy Equinox, Pontiac Torrent, Saturn View are tough support. They're a little bit different looking than the original ones. And don't worry, if you get this same style clip, these do actually fit. And I'm gonna show you how to put them on there. But down inside here and on this other end right here, I took the clip out of there. These little clips come in and they go around a ball and they lock that ball onto this shock. So you're just pulling that clip back and then that allows the ball to come out of there and pull the shock off of there. Then on our new one, it works a little bit different, and it's actually a really simple, kind of easier design, to be honest with you. So you pop that over, and you pull this pin out of here like this, and then obviously you stick that back in there. The thing you need to know is this has to be turned. So if your ball is square, this needs to be turned on your ball a little bit to be able to get that clip back in there to push it on. Now, when you go to remove these after you've got the clips totally removed, you can push up on the door a little bit and it should make it easier to take them off of there and they should fall right off. Okay, so before we install these, we're going to remove both clips. We're going to set them down somewhere that we can find them. Don't lose them. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so if you're using this same style as me, when you go to meet it up to the tailgate, it's not gonna be clocked properly. So we're just gonna take some pliers and turn that a little bit and get it measured up correctly. When we go to put these on here, we're gonna take the pliers and we're gonna clock it correctly. Then we're gonna raise up the door with our hand. Then that should allow us to just simply pop it right into place. Sometimes you have to use a hammer. Now, remember what I said, we want that to be, that eyelet to be half the hole. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it like that to where it almost comes out of there. And if you look at this other side, you can see how the ball is protruding out on this side. That allows us the ability to stick the clip up in there and hopefully it'll go straight all the way through. Maybe give it a couple taps. Now, once again, taking our pliers and looking up down through the hole we can see when the hole is not you know restricted by metal so we should be able to slide our clip in there voila done do the same on the other ones and you'll be good to go well hopefully y'all found that informative and entertaining it was a serious pain in the butt to figure out how to show you guys that stuff so 
Hopefully it was helpful. God bless you guys. Remember, don't be the next to them. Be the first to you. And if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. <laughs>